What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw Trico from Pokemon. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of the page and draw the top edge of the eyelid. We're gonna start right in the middle. Start with a curve that goes up. And it'll bend that out towards the right. Now I wanna tuck the bottom of the eye in underneath this line. So on the left side, I'm gonna step up, come down towards the bottom of the eye, round this out, and just tuck that up underneath. Let's place an oval in the center of the eye for the pupil, coming all the way down, and then back up. Let's add a small highlight circle along the top of the eye, and then we'll fill the bottom in black. Let's move over towards the left side and draw that center fold. We're gonna start right here. It's gonna bend this out, around, and then up towards the right. Let's layer the back side of the head in behind. We're gonna start up here, bend this up and out towards the left. Round up the top, come down, and then bend that in. Let's layer the muzzle on top. From here, we're gonna step in, curve this around, down towards the bottom and I'm just going to pull that up on the inside. Let's add another curve coming down and then up. Now I'm going to tuck the mouth in underneath. Let's start on the outside, curve this down. I'm just going to bring this up towards that top point. And I'll trace this curve along the inside, the inside edge of the mouth, all the way around and then up, and then from the top, curve the tongue, going around, and just pull that in. Let's add two slits for the nostrils on the left side. Come down on the left, and then up on the right. Now let's go back up to the top, just gonna round this out, go around towards the back of the head, come down, and we'll just bend that in behind the mouth. Now we want to bend the body over towards the left side. Let's start underneath the chin, curve the body coming down and then out. Let's round up the body coming in towards the bottom. Round up the side. Just going to pull this back up underneath the head. Let's add a seam across the bottom edge of the body. Now you want to raise the left leg up so we see the bottom of the foot. So from the side of the body, let's move over. I'm just gonna curve this up and then bend that out. Let's round up the first toe, going all the way around and just pulling that back in. Let's layer two more toes in behind. Starting from the top, draw a circle, going all the way around, tuck that in. Let's move down towards the side and do that again. On the bottom of the last toe, we're gonna curve this in and then down towards the heel. Let's round up the heel, and we'll bend the leg coming up in between the foot and the body. Now we're gonna move up and draw the knee. We're gonna go up towards the top, round up the leg, and then pull that in towards the side. Now from here, we're gonna work our way towards the inside of the right leg. Let's we'll start up here, bend this around, come down, I'm going to round this out and go up towards the heel. Let's round up the heel, come down towards the bottom of the foot, and we'll draw the first toe with a circle. Go all the way around, and we'll bring that down. Now just like we did on the left, we're going to layer two more toes in behind. We'll start from the bottom, draw that circle, going all the way around, and then down, and we'll do that one more time. Now I want to layer the leg on top of the foot. So we're going to start right in here, bend the leg coming down towards the knee, and we'll bend that up. Let's go over towards the knee, bend the foot coming down, and then out on top of the toes. Now from the top of the leg, we're just going to curve around the body and go up towards the arm. Go out, and just pull that up towards the top. Let's layer the arm on top of the body. We step in, curve the arm going up, and then out towards the wrist. Let's step up underneath the head and draw that same curve. Let's place the hand on top of the wrist, 
I'll step down, go up. It's gonna round out the first finger and just pull that back in. And then we'll layer two more fingers in behind. Draw that circle on the outside. Come down towards the bottom, draw that again. Just wanna leave a gap along the bottom. And then from the inside of this finger, curve the palm coming down and up over the wrist. Now we're gonna draw the left arm in behind. So we're gonna start by lining up the bottom of the arm, go up and out underneath the head, continue out underneath the muzzle. Let's go to the outside of the muzzle, draw the first finger with a circle, going all the way around, leaving a gap on the inside, and then we'll layer two more fingers in behind, going all the way around and down, add one more along the top. Now let's go back down and draw on the tail. We're gonna start with the bottom edge, starting from the hip, curve the tail coming down, and we'll bend that up. Let's round out the end of the tail by adding a swirl, coming all the way around, and then out. On the left side of the swirl, add a fold, coming in and down. Now we draw that same swirl and fold in behind. So let's start from the top, Start with a swirl going around and then out. And then on the side, we're just gonna pull this in towards the side of the body. And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Trico from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.